Okay, I uh, thought I would do one of my uh, a video of one of my favorite uh, nymphs to fish, uh, just general all around uh, attractor looking uh, all around nymph. Uh, it's a beadhead pheasant tail in the vise. I've got a uh, size 16, 37, 61 with a about a size 2.4 tungsten bead. It's the one of the Montana coffee colored the Lucent Tungsten Beads. Uh, thread is 8 aught rusty brown and we'll get this started here. I'm going to start my thread right behind the bead. I'm going to lay down I'm going to lay down a base of thread on the hook. down a base of thread on the hook here. I'm going to run it back to the bend and then I'm going to go ahead and run it right back up to the top. Uh, extra small copper wire is going to be my rib. Alright, we're going to tie this in. And then we're going to take uh, just a standard pheasant tail. I'm going to grab about five fibers. Uh, I didn't like those five. The tips weren't very lined up. So I'm going to grab another five here. I'm going to tear those off. Pretty lined up. Okay, I got two wraps to hold them. And then I'm going to jump in front and I'm going to build a little bit of a taper. So we're going to build a little bit of a taper in here. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'm going to wrap my pheasant tail fibers now. I'm going to wrap them up to about the three quarter point, maybe a little bit farther. That looks good right about there. Let's tie those off. Now I'm going to take my rib and I'm going to counter wrap it. The first one went into that space created by the first two wraps of thread. Okay, we got that bound down. I'm going to go ahead and cut spiral that off. I'm going to go ahead and do a flashback on this. So I'm going to use a piece of holographic copper tinsel. I'm going to tie that in, get it centered right on top. It's a little off. There we go. Okay, I'm going to pull the, the wing case material back. And my proportions is about, um, I want the abdomen be about 60% of the hook shank. I went a little too far back on that. That looks better right there. Okay, the thorax. We're going to get some uh, just standard peacock curl. And if you've noticed, I'm grabbing them off of the eye of the the eye because you have better control over the sizing. Grabbed three five three of the peacock curls, clip the weak tips, and I'm going to tie this in. I'm going to bind, get those tied in, and bind them down. All right, I'm going to run my thread to the front right behind the bead. Now I'm going to wrap the peacock curl. 
leave yourself a little room at the, right at the bead. Okay, we're going to clip our butt ends. Then we're going to pull our wing case material over. Trying to flatten it out a little bit, spread it. Couple wraps there. And then I'm going to take my pheasant tails, fibers, and separate them out. I want two on my side, but I didn't get two of them. There we go. Two on my side. Then I'm going to grab and put two on the far side. Pull our wing case material over the flashback. Clip that. And I'm going to separate my legs out a little bit here. Alright, I'm going to finish it off with a about a five turn whip finish. thread than that. Pull it tight. Clip our thread. And then I'm going to take my legs. I'm going to pull them back all together. And just clip them a little bit. A little bit back of the thorax. And then we're going to put a drop of head cement. And there we have it. One flashback bead head pheasant tail.